Hey church family, thank you so much for joining us today's Daily Connection video as we are talking about how we receive new life in the Spirit. Uh, looking here in 1 Peter chapter 3, we have talked some about Jesus' death, and now we're going to talk some about his resurrection, the implications that that has for us. So we're really going to be focusing on the second part of verse 18 and then verse 19, but I'll read all of 18 and 19 uh, just for the sake of context. So starting in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18, it says, For Christ also suffered for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring you to God. And then we're really focusing in here. It says, He was put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit, in which he also went and made proclamation to the spirits in prison. So Christ is, uh, he, he dies on the cross. Uh, he is pain, and, and death is a consequence. It's the consequence for sin. But here's the thing, Christ never sinned. And so when he dies on the cross, and he takes this consequence for sin, death has no claim on him. Death cannot hold him. And so he is paying that price for you and me. And so while, yes, Jesus dies on the cross, he defeats death, though, because he has no sin. And here's the thing. He is setting that up for you and for me because he died for you and for my sins. So just like Jesus, unless Jesus returns, just like Jesus, we are all going to die. But for those of us who have trusted in Christ, who have placed our faith in Christ, death has no claim on us either. Uh, although, although we will die in the flesh like Jesus, we will be raised again by the Spirit. And what a glorious thing we have to look forward to. Uh, while we, we don't have to be afraid of death, uh, because death has no power over us if we are believers. While we will face it, it has no power, it has no claim, because Christ has already defeated it. That's a truth that we can stand on and that we can know, that we will live eternally with the Father. And so our author gives us a couple of questions we can look at. The first, why did death have no claim on Jesus, and how can the same apply to us? So as we mentioned, it has no claim on us, or excuse me, it had no claim on Jesus because Jesus never sinned. He lived a perfect life. And so the sins he died for were not his own, but they were mine and they were yours, right? And how does that apply to us? By putting our faith in Christ, trusting in him with our lives. And we can be raised, how can we be raised from the dead is the second question. And we can be raised from the dead uh, because of the work that Christ has done on our behalf, because Christ has defeated death. Man, I, church, I hope that you are excited about that truth to know uh, that we can and will be raised from the dead if we are believers. I hope that you have trusted the Lord with your life, that you have surrendered to his calling uh, to salvation. And if you have not, man, please reach out to us. Uh, let us talk to you about what it means to surrender our lives to Jesus. Uh, church family, I hope that you are resting on this truth, that you're finding joy this morning or this afternoon or whatever it may be in those truths. As you do that, we want you to know that we love you and we're praying for you.